Oh, thank you for watching this video. In this video, uh, I'm going to talk about how to set up item list. So this is for job costing for QuickBooks Desktop, and uh, we're going to talk about item list. And uh, on our previous uh, video, we talked about uh, how to set up chart of accounts. So that's the first thing you need to do: set up chart of accounts. So you want to check out that video first uh, to get the better understanding of uh, how to set up uh, chart of accounts for job costing. So in this video, I'm going to focus on item list. So now I'm going to go to QuickBooks Desktop. So this one I'm using a uh, uh, Premier version. Uh, so if you have uh, uh, QuickBooks Pro for job costing, it will still work. Uh, but uh, uh, QuickBooks Premier uh, is the way to go for job costing. So I'm on the home page here, the QuickBooks home page. So from here, uh, to go to chart of accounts, I'm just going to briefly go through chart of accounts, how it's set up a little bit, chart of accounts. And uh, uh, on my last video, I focused on cost of goods sold. The first thing you want to do is set up cost of goods sold to do job costing. Okay, so cost of goods sold, and then you have to establish uh, the income account. You just want one account for income, or you want uh, uh, multiple uh, income accounts uh, to track uh, uh, your income from job cost job uh, from uh, from your job. Uh, so in this case, I have just one uh, income, construction income, uh, so that's fine. And then you have to decide whether you want to have just one cost of goods sold uh, account in your chart of accounts. So this is the one you will see in your PNL as well. So I'm just going to go to PNL uh, just to see show you. Okay, so you can just have one cost of goods sold uh, and. Uh, uh, for uh, for all material related costs, subcontractors costs, or tooling costs, travel costs, other costs, whatever you have, uh, uh, or you can set up a job related cost as your parent account, and then you set up uh, underneath all sub related uh, uh, job related costs. Uh, so it depends on what type of business you are in. Uh, you know, some some company they'll just use one cost of goods account. Uh, and then they will uh, uh, look at it, all the item details uh, from your item list. So, uh, so you have a choice. So in this case, I have a material cost, uh, subcontract, tooling cost, other cost under a job co job related cost. Okay. So I'm going to go to item list now. Okay. So this is the item list I have. This is for the construction company, and. Uh, uh, so it will vary from your from your own business. Uh, so it's basically the these are the level of uh, level of efforts in your item list. These are the level of efforts in your item list that will uh, uh, that will decide the level of detail you will see in your job cost reports. They have several job cost report, four or five uh, job cost report, and so it's very important you have. Uh, set up uh, item list uh, the way you want to see it in detail. Okay, I'm just going to uh, go to one uh, item item profitability report. It's in here. So under job time, you will see this report. Okay, so so you, you can see this report. Okay, so as you can see here, so this is the uh, uh, the item list, as you can see here, uh, I'm going to close this. Okay, I'm going to show you side by side. Okay, as you can see here, this is the uh, item list. The way this is how it's set up, item list, and based on that item list, when you run. Uh, item profitability report you will see all the service items and then then, then you'll compare uh, that to your actual revenue and actual cost and the difference between revenue and your cost is your uh, profit margin 
by uh, by item. So, so these are the level of efforts you are putting in for that job, and it will give you how much it's costing and how much revenue you're generating for that uh, job or that item. Uh, so, uh, uh, so it will tell you, you know, how you need to set up. So this this is th so you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, look at it this way, you know. Uh, so you have to figure out what's the what's the best way to come up with the level of effort uh, you need to uh, measure uh, the, uh, the the revenue uh, from that job. So uh, so anyway, uh, so you have to you know put you have to consider what you need to do. So I'm just going to go through uh, how this one is set up and uh, uh, of course the uh, you know the the QuickBooks uh, uh, you know it's a it's a generic software and uh, uh, you know it's it's uh, it's 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 not designed for any specific industry or business type uh, so you know it's a generic often confusing but uh, so you have to figure out what's uh, uh, best for your business okay I'm just going to explain to you how this one is set up okay uh, you have a couple of ways to do it I'm gonna go through uh, one by one and see that helps you okay so I'm just gonna close this and start everything all over again okay so I'm gonna go to item list okay so when you uh, open item list you may not see cost of goods sold account as a column all right so I'm gonna go open another one here or as you can see here when you open it probably you will see something like this so there's no cost of goods sold account so what you need to do you need to add that column to see uh, how everything is flowing through okay so uh, all you have to do is just right click any place and then select customize columns customize columns and from the list just select the cost of goods sold account and then you know you can put it wherever you want it so in this case you can move up and down so you can move up or down and I have uh, cost of goods sold account right after description okay all right so now so what this tells you is from this page it will tell you uh, how everything is set up okay like for example it's going to go through here okay it's a concrete one zero four uh it's a concrete that's the name of the item and description the same and this one is mapped to material cost so whenever you use this concrete item uh, in PNL, it will post the material cost when you buy material and then on the revenue side it will just it will post to construction income account so uh so let's try another one here okay so sub roof so roof framing in here 08 is roof framing so what this is telling you is I have a task I'm gonna call it roof framing that's uh, that's my level of efforts it takes to do this job and I'm gonna hire a subcontractor to do that job so, uh, or independent contractor to do that job so so that's why I'm using uh, uh, the subcontract cost as expense account in, in, in your chart of account. I'm going to show you underneath how this one is set up, but I'm just uh, giving you the description uh, uh, how this one is uh, going to flow uh, all the way to the item profitability report. Okay, so this is one way, you know, this one is saying, hey, I, you know, these are the level of efforts. I'm going to hire subcontractors and I'm going to have. Uh, uh, my people uh, do some of the works and I'm gonna hire I'm gonna uh, buy some materials and uh, I'm gonna pay uh, uh, salary gross wages to my uh, em employees and, and I'm gonna buy material costs and certain tasks I'm just gonna hire a subcontractor to do that job so wherever you see subcontract cost so that means uh, subcontracts gonna do that task okay so uh, this is one way and the other way is in certain tasks you may need uh, uh, your own labor and uh, 
you know you may have you may so let's for example this part building permits you know to work on the building permits from the city you're going to use your own people and sometimes it's going to you're going to also uh hire subcontractor uh to work on uh, building permits too and then you have to pay certain fees like that right so uh, I'm going to go through one by one here. So let's just go through the material cost first. How this one is set up. Okay, I'm going to edit it. Okay, so it's basically the type is service, right? So when you add new, so add new is right here, or just to uh, right click it to be add. Right click is add, right? Just select add and service type, right? And just put the item number okay and uh, for job costing you got to check this uh, double-sided box in here and this will uh, this is where you put in your income account as well as your expense account as you can see here this is where this is how you get that item profitability report in here see actual revenue it comes from here, right? And the other one is the expense for the uh, item, like here. This is demo. So you just select that demo uh, to create that new account, new item list. So in here, expense account. You create uh, underneath in here cost of goods sold. Let's say this is for material. Just select the material. Uh, if you have a, a breakdown of uh, direct cost, uh, or if you're using just one for all these items, all these costs in the chart of account, uh, you just want to use this one account, then just select cost of goods sold like this. All right, so I got an idea. Oh, okay. So, uh, so this is one way of doing it. So this is like a, it's pretty clear, uh, concrete. Uh, I, I'm gonna do the job, and I'm gonna buy the material, and I'm gonna use my own labor. The labor comes off from the payroll. That's a separate one, uh, and uh, uh, but you still use this this account uh, item. I mean, uh, uh, so and for this task, I'm gonna use subcontract. This is one way. Okay, the other way, as I said, it's uh, uh, this is just an example. Let's say for building permit, this becomes your parent account. So you, you're not going to use this account for to enter any chart, any transactions, but you're going to use uh, the sub accounts to enter transactions. So if you have a labor cost, this is the one you want to use. So this is the one you want to use. As you can see here, expense for the labor, uh, you, you know, uh, working on uh, getting the permit. So the labor cost is right here, right? And income is still the same, okay? And uh, the other one is prime contractor. So uh, to get the building permits, if you're using that one, it's the same thing. Expense account is subcontract and income it's this one account in this case okay and then you have, you have actual fees that you pay to city uh, or state uh, same thing so the other cost or you may have a uh, you know a actual account for the permit uh, cost uh, so in this case this uh, uh, for the permit goes the other cost account and then you have an income account okay so this is one way of doing it uh, so it depends, uh, you know, depends upon your business. You can just do all these uh, like this, or uh, get get a breakdown, uh, like like uh, you know, by uh, cost components. Uh, so you have a choice, and so you have to figure out what's the right uh, uh, level of your your efforts you want to set up uh, uh, in QuickBooks. And once you set up, you don't want to change this. It's very hard to change this, you know. Uh, once, once you set up, you, you start using it, and that's it. You know, uh, so basically, you know, that's that's all that's all you need to do. And once you have that, and then you can start using uh, using uh, 
uh, entering uh, expenses uh, from contractors, buy materials, and then everything works out pretty good. You can use uh, vendor expenses or writing checks in here. Uh, so this is the this is the critical one to do job costing. So I hope uh, you'll focus on how to set up uh, the item uh, list. You know, it's kind of pretty important. Okay, and then uh, in certain case, you know, uh, you know when you when you want to build your job, you don't want to list all these. Uh, so you can group all these and just come up with uh, a group name. For example, in here, uh, let's say. We want to create group in here new see the group in here so this is the one you want to use so you can name whatever you want in here uh, say uh, uh, project one item you know you can just you can just figure out which one you need to use and so this is the one this is the one you want to uh, use on your bid uh, and also same thing with your uh, invoicing so this is how you have to set up if you just want to use uh, the group name you know uh, you don't want to use uh, all these uh, that you see uh, in your item list on your on estimate then you have to create a group list all right so that's a separate uh, uh, topic but uh, so anyway so this is how you set up uh, item list uh, so next video, I'm going to focus on uh, uh, pro payroll item list. So this is the next one, payroll item list. Okay, and uh, so payroll item list, it's in here. List, the payroll item list. So this is where uh, it will control all your labor cost. And uh, uh, so in QuickBooks for job costing, uh, the, the QuickBooks enhanced payrolls, that's the one uh, you want to use. Uh, you know, you know, if you will use third party, then it's kind of a, it will be a little, little bit difficult to handle this job costing. So you, you so next video, I'm going to focus on how to set up the payroll item list using uh, uh, QuickBooks enhanced payroll. So uh, look for that video and uh, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channels. The one you're watching is video VP controller, and uh, if you are into new uh, QuickBooks, uh, QuickBooks Online, we have a separate channel, new QBO. So it's http youtube.com VP controller, the one you're watching, and youtube.com uh, forward slash new QBO for QuickBooks Online. Anyway, uh, thank you. Bye.